you know the inside track of what is it that the police are suspecting the inside inside the mind of a murderer these are the red herrings that times now has uh, withdrawn has been able to take out for you to understand and get to the bottom of this by case uh, you know now aftab dumped shraddha's phone in maharashtra here's how he tried to fool and mislead the investigators especially the maharashtra police and thereafter the delhi police as well he cleaned the floor with acid to remove dna traces so the floor was the, certainly cleaned by him using the right chemical the right amount was used by aftab but what he missed out on was the blood stains in the kitchen and that's exactly what the delhi police is now running after as far as uh, you know his social media appearance is concerned he chatted with shraddha's friends using her instagram account this to mislead the family members the friends that she's very much alive she's very much still active on social media he did, did that for good about a month or two after having murdered her brutally a uh, red herring for kept shraddha's insta account active till june that's exactly what we're saying may end is when he killed her till june so at least for a month he was trying to impersonate shraddha on social media to give an impression that she's still alive remember her friends suspected that she's missing on social media she's not reachable close to the month of september that she was not being able to uh, she they were not being able to reach out to her for the last two months this is what they suspected in the month of september thereafter dumped the machete in delhi forest discarded clothes in the garbage truck the delhi municipal garbage truck was used by aftab to closely discard all of those blood stained clothes of shraddha and that's exactly this is not quite adding up we go back to our reporters who continue to stay on with us sabya sachi and priyank sabya sachi now what is the next course of action you've been telling us about the recoveries that have been made with regards to shraddha's remains the bone pieces that have been found uh, you know the blood samples that the delhi police will be aiming at what next with regards to his custody the delhi police had his custody for the five days and i believe uh, easily that's going to be extended here on Well, absolutely. See, the next course of action for the Delhi police will be to seek uh, further custody of Aftab uh, tomorrow. And uh, as we know that the Delhi police have also. put in and request for a narco test which will be very important because yesterday uh, during the high level meeting of uh, top officers of the delhi police they clearly stated uh, stated that they need to change their strategy and there are chances that aftab is not telling the entire truth he must be misleading the delhi police because if you see the entire uh, uh, time of 6 months it was completely well planned to use uh, acid to clear the entire apartment so that the foreign team cannot recover any sort of blood samples and while he was uh, cutting the body of shadda he did it under the shower so that the blood and uh, the uh, flesh could be cut easily so clearly from aftab's part it was very well planned and delhi police so as of now have not got any sort of a big break through in this particular case where they can really say that this is the uh, piece of evidence which can really prove that uh, aftab is behind this killing but rightly now delhi police will be focusing to seek uh, the further custody of aftab and also the court uh, gives a grant for the narco test yes because much time has already been lost uh, sabya sachi with regards to the investigation because the fr itself was filed in the ongoing month of november the arrest has been made after 6 months of when the murder took place which is back in the month of may In the meanwhile we're trying to get to the bottom of this and speak to as many people who knew Shraddha and Aftab we spoke to the classmate of Shraddha who said that Aftab met a couple of college friends as well of Shraddha and that Shraddha didn't quite open up about their relationship but her behavior the friend says changed after 2018 she was very reserved about her relationship and also has gone on to say that they demand justice for Shraddha and Aftab must be punished for what he did to their friend listen it kaha aisa ja raha friends se ki jis jis jab wo delhi gayi delhi jaane ke baad uska badlav ho gaya tha family se bhi cut off ho gaya tha family se bhi baat chit uski kafi kam ho gayi thi shayad ho hi nahi rahi thi lekin wo uska badlav kafi ho gaya tha okay jis friend se wo contacted thi lagatar jankari de rahi thi ki main theek hu kaisi hu unse bhi unka bhi yahi kehna hai kyunki maine baat ki kal jab ye news mila mujhe jankari mili to maine baat chit ki aur pata chala ki ki nahi wo kafi badlav ho gaya tha uske andar kafi So you heard that friend there, Sabir Sachi, and that's what each and every friend of Shraddha have maintained so far. That Shraddha 
was a very chirpy, energetic girl, but after 2018 and beginning of 2019 is somewhere her behavior started changing. She did not quite open up about her relationship. In fact, Aftab's neighbors have also pointed out the same, that on the face of it, it came across that he's a very reserved, simple kind of a boy and that they did not see this coming. But the fact remains behind it all, looks like is a pre-planned conspiracy because days into them moving to the national capital, moving to that house in Chhatarpur, he went ahead with the murder. Well, absolutely. See, uh, uh, after they got in the relationship, Shraddha slowly started cutting off uh, from, his, uh, from her family as well as her friends. And uh, this had happened over the course of time from 2018 onwards where uh, we have heard from Shraddha's father as well that there were uh, very less instances where she used to uh, uh, speak with him as well. And a lot of Shraddha's friends also have come on record and have said that Aftab used to beat her up uh, very often and she used to complain to her friends but never really uh, did she take a stand for it. And a lot of the times her friends had even come to rescue her but then she used to say that Aftab is changing and she will be back with him. So this was uh, uh, the pattern over the years. If you talk about her relationship where Aftab uh, was a major influence uh, of, uh, for Shraddha's cutting off from her family as well as from her friends. But uh, at this particular time, what, what is important is that the uh, uh, Aftab's friend who has been called in by the Delhi police, four of his friends have been called in who were uh, friends of Aftab before he got into a relationship uh, with Shraddha. As well as the questioning is concerned. During the questioning also, Aftab has confessed that he was in touch with women when he was in relationship as well. And uh, that led to a lot of the fights which took place. And during uh, the 18th of May, when Shraddha was uh, uh, killed, uh, Aftab had beaten her fe uh, fearlessly and then she lost her consciousness and then he strangulated her. This was the course of event that took place on 18th. But majorly uh, the reason of the fight that broke out between Shraddha and Aftab was because Aftab was continuously in touch with other women. So this particular angle will also be uh, investigated by the Delhi police. As we know, they have already uh, written to Bumble to ask Aftab's history in that uh, dating app because if he was involved with one or more than uh, 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 more than one woman during that time period. So clearly, this at uh, this particular uh, uh, point of time, all these evidences, all these details become extremely crucial to understand the mindset of Aftab.